Hello beautiful people of the internet. I just came from the visit of the Ceres Super Factory here in Chongqing, China. I'm Nick Scalanok and you're watching carguide.ph. Guys, we just arrived at the super factory and it being a factory, we're not allowed to film inside. So this is a, after this, you're going to see me after we have the tour of the super factory of Aito. So hopefully we'll get B-roll from them. But if not, I will give at least my impressions of what I saw inside the super factory of Aito. It's so secretive. They blocked our phone so you can see it's blurry here on this side and then on this side it's blurry on the top for those selfie cameras but then we'll still be able to use just in case there's an emergency use galinga in fairness and then after the tour that's the only time they'll unlock it so this is how serious it is the Ceres super factory spanning 1 million square meters stands as a testament to cutting edge automotive production designed to lead the industry in efficiency intelligence, and environmental stewardship. It embodies a forward-thinking approach to vehicle manufacturing. The Ceres Super Factory excels in its manufacturing efficiency through a short process production model. This innovative approach significantly reduces the number of steps and operations in the factoring chain, enabling agile and high volume output. In key processes, including body welding and painting, achieve an impressive 100% automation rate, minimizing human intervention and ensuring precision. They also had an automated guided vehicle for intelligent movement of materials within the factory. Over 3,000 intelligent robots are deployed for intricate tasks such as welding and painting, guaranteeing consistent quality and high precision. Real-time data is continuously collected from all equipment, with this data, they are able to optimize their production line. AI is used in different stations with high-definition cameras and advanced image processing like the ability to check 84 bolts on each vehicle in just one second. And with all this, the factory is able to do millimeter-level precision, contributing to their superior product fit and finish. Okay guys, so we just came back from the the tour of the super factory of Aito and I've been to a lot of factory visits and what makes us different from the rest I've seen is one there was a lot of uh, automation used and the the level of precision that these machines had like they were telling us it's like 0 0.02 millimeter difference and all these numbers but basically it's to the level of spacecraft construction so that, that level of accuracy is applied here. And it being the future, they also employ the use of AI to do things like inspection. And that, that's the one that impressed me the most, that we had the high definition cameras that we're inspecting together with the people. So hand in hand, you have people involved and AI involved as tools to keep that level of precision. The place is so big. <laughs> when we were doing the tour, we did majority of it through a shuttle so it was like a roller coaster ride usually we walk through the plant this was one of those rare cases well and personally my first time that it was through a shuttle and then on the final assembly we, we were able to walk it another thing that that impressed me uh, i've been to a lot of plant visits from korean brands japanese brands chinese brands and most of the brands we love like aito is there aito is there and what I did like was with their level of like precision and accuracy, they do their best to minimize waste. I'm like an advocate for like uh, more environmental stuff. I think that's the step on the right direction. Though I don't have the numbers of like how much carbon emission is emitted per car, but based on what I've seen, it's efficient, so that's a big plus. Very minimal wastage. So the last thing that impressed me was the die-cast system for their sheets, and that allows them to lessen the need of welding. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the numbers were like, they can reduce up to a thousand weldings, and that 
in turn lessens carbon emission. So uh, I don't have those exact figures, so I don't want to make a claim on that. But everything's on the steps on the right direction. We're on our way back uh, to rest and relax. And I hope if you, if you reach this part of the video, this is probably the end. And I hope uh, you either learned something or enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.